Geomagic is really at the heart of our process because we need clean, beautiful surfaces of the body if we're going to create something that looks great at the other end. Geomagic gives us the control over the shapes that we use from the person so that we can create parts that will impact every moment of the rest of their life. So Bespoke is really about making somebody feel whole again, where if they lose a part of their body, they're losing more than just that piece. They're losing a sense of wholeness and a sense of physicality. We're about really giving that back to them and about making them feel like, not that the limb is back, but that they're something really beautiful again, something whole, something, something complete, even though they're not their original self. And the way we do that is, first we restore symmetry to their body. We do a three-dimensional scan of their sound side limb, then we mirror that and put it in place of what was lost. And use that geometry to model a new limb for them. And the new limb then, we can, we can add design to. We can add chrome, we can add materials, we can add anything we like that will really complement them as a person and make them feel like this is an expression of themselves. And this then will surround their existing prosthetic. It's a fairing, like a motorcycle has a fairing. It surrounds the prosthetic and it gives them their shape back. As simple as that sounds, that's really profound to an amputee, just to have your shape back, to be able to reach down and touch a shape that isn't a pipe, that isn't this mass-produced titanium chunk with nuts and bolts on it, but that is something derived from them. That's, that, that has meaning and that has a lot of significance to the, the person. The idea came years ago when I was talking to an amputee and she was a beautiful woman and she had a number of legs, she's now kind of a celebrity amputee of sorts and she had legs that never in my mind really seemed to match up to the person. Some of them looked human, but at the same time there's something that doesn't seem right about a leg that looks human. Others looked purely mechanical and they really seemed like they were more appropriate on an aircraft or a snowmobile or something like that. None of them really complimented her as though they were something truly beautiful. And that was something like 10 or 13 years ago. And I, I've been working on that sense of thinking, how, how do you create something that complements the body without mimicking it? That's a really tricky challenge. And it requires a lot of technology, ultimately, if you're going to arrive at the right balance. We get some interesting reactions that come back from the people that we work with. We have a woman who is wearing skirts for the first time in many years because for the first time she's excited to show people the leg that we've created for her. We have a guy who's, who only wears shorts now. No matter how cold it is, he's out in shorts every day. And he, get, he, he gets excited by the, the kind of engagement that he has with people. He told us where people used to notice his leg and then look away uncomfortably or tell their, tell their children not to look because it's an uncomfortable situation. Now people stop and they stare and they talk to him and they ask him and they tell him what a cool leg he has. He's, he's not used to that level of engagement. And he sends us emails all the time, every time he gets this new experience. And he's kind of amazed and, and that keeps us pretty excited that that's what we're creating. Right now we are based in San Francisco and we have our technology set up here. So people have to actually physically come here to us to work with us. That is limiting, of course. So we're trying to come up with a number of different ways where we can get either scanners around the country or uh, prosthetists or medical centers to work with a process that can send us usable data. Geomagic is really at the heart of our process because we need clean, beautiful surfaces of the body if we're going to create something that looks great at the other end. We start with scan data, which is just messy, no matter how you slice it. And we have to turn that into really fluid, natural seeming, beautiful forms that we can then work with and create our art with. Without good data going in, we can't create anything good going out. We don't know how to classify ourselves. We're not necessarily a medical company because the fairings are not medical products. A person does not need the fairing for a medical reason. We are to some degree a fashion company because we make something that makes somebody look really amazing. We're also a, a lifestyle company. The, the products we create really integrate in somebody's life. So we're kind of in between categories. It's pretty hard to, to um, put a label on just what it is that we do. We are in a startup phase right now. We're exploring where this technology is gonna go, what we can do with the art, what people like, what, what makes people feel good about what we create. 
And so there's some back and forth going on in this process now. We hope that over time we'll be getting better at making it more accessible to people all over the country and all over the world, to working with people's tastes and design styles so that we can really cater to an individual's tastes uh, better and better. It's tricky because of the uniqueness of the person, not only in their morphology, but in their taste and their personal sense of style. Mass customization is a fairly new concept that the user doesn't have to be a passive consumer. They can be an active participant in the design process. This is new. It's a different attitude from the perspective of the consumer that they can jump into the process itself. There aren't a lot of companies that know how to do this. We're all jumping into the fray and exploring to see what the rules and the parameters governing, governing it are. Nobody knows right now, so we'll all have to see just how it pans out. We hope to keep evolving what we can do with the prosthetic leg, with prosthetic arms, but then also to go into a number of uh, birth defects, muscular skeletal issues, a number of different areas that need addressing. Geomagic gives us the control over the shapes that we use from the person so that we can create parts that will impact every moment of the rest of their life. We want to give them the sense that they have a, a better future, a better outcome from this process, whether it be a prosthetic leg or something to address a muscular skeletal issue. We, we'd like to give them something that will really enhance their quality of living. And we can only do that through Geomagic.